So today I'm going to be teaching you how to get this holiday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also I have a question for you guys. I'm going to be going to either Generation Beauty or IMAX. I'm not sure which one I want to go to. Leave a comment down below letting me know which one's a better event. Well, let's get started guys. So first I'm going to start off by priming my lips. I'm going to be using MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I really like how this concealer makes my eyeshadow look. I feel like it makes my eyeshadow stand out more. Now I'm going to take a really pretty beige eyeshadow color. Then I'm just going to pack the eyeshadow color on my lid. So who notices the new lighting? This is actually supposed to be a Christmas gift but I opened it early. Shh, don't tell my mom. Now for Morphe's brushes, I'm going to be taking the color Secretive and I'm just going to apply it in my crease. First, I'm going to use a flat brush to create that V shape to give more of a wider eye look. Then I'm going to take a blending brush and blend it all out. So that way there's no harsh lines. Blending plays a big part to creating a pretty eyeshadow look. Now I'm going to use my Anastasia Lavish eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use the color Antique. I'm going to apply this to the outer corner of my eye. Then you just want to blend everything out. Now I'm going to go back with the color Secretive and apply it to the bottom of my lash line. After you've done that, you want to apply concealer to cover up any fallout and dark circles. I'm using MAC Studio Finish. Now it's time to curl our eyelashes. The eyelash curler I'm using is from MAC. It's one of my favorite eyelash curlers. Next, you want to apply liquid eyeliner to the top of your eyelash line. I'm using MAC Liquid Pin Eyeliner in the color black. You want to create a wing with your eyeliner to give that cute cat eye shape. Now it's time for mascara. You can apply any mascara you like. Once I'm done with mascara, I'm going to apply false eyelashes. I just love false eyelashes. I feel like they make your eyes look bigger. I don't know if it actually does, but that's just my opinion. Also, it makes your eyes stand out more. Now I'm just going to apply bottom mascara. After I'm done applying mascara, I'm going to apply bottom eyeliner. I'm using Sephora's pencil eyeliner in the color brown. The brown eyeliner will help give more color to your eyes by making them stand out more. So now it's time to move on to the face. I'm going to be using Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder. And I'm going to apply that all over my face to help even out my skin color and get rid of any shine. Next, I'm taking Kat Von D's Shade Light Palette. And I'm going to use Sombre and Shadow Play to contour my cheeks. Mixing these two colors makes a really nice tone color for my skin. I'm going to use Blush by Kat Von D in the color Ballism. It's a really pretty pink color. After I applied the blush, I'm going to go back and use my shade light palette in the color Lyric for a highlight color. Lyric is my favorite highlight color in this palette. So now let's move on to the lips. I'm taking the color Espresso Exposed by Maybelline. I don't have a lip liner this color, so I tried not to make any mistakes while applying this on. You can always put concealer wherever your mistakes are. And ta-da! Here's our finished look. Hope you like how this makeup came out. So we're Black Friday shopping. Of course this. So now let's move on to Sephora. I got some makeup from Tarte. 